Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and today I am going to be doing inkjet transfer paper, finally. A few of you have asked me what's the best transfer paper to use, but personally I have never used it. I don't have a need for it. I have a white toner, I have sublimation, I mean I just don't really have the need for it. So of course I want to give you guys different options because I know not everybody has sublimation printers, not everyone has a white toner printer. So if you only have an inkjet printer, this is perfect for you. So these are the Walla inkjet transfer papers for the light and the dark and of course I got them from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Thank you heat transfer warehouse so I have them I'm going to come up with a nice design something colorful that will be able to go on light and dark so I have some shirts here these are my uh, my son just happened to have a bunch of blank shirts my son is all about comfort so he loves just you know just a lot of blank shirts that he can wear and change into when he comes home from school so I'm gonna make something nice on these shirts for him hopefully he won't be upset and I have a light and a dark t-shirt blank for me that I'm going to use. I'm going to give you two different designs so that way I can show you different options. So again, these are the Walla transfers. I have the Walla Inkjet Dark Premium and I have the Walla Inkjet Light Smooth. So the light one only goes on light shirts and the dark one only goes on dark shirts. I'm not sure how light. So I'm going to try, this is like a light color, right? I'm going to try the light one on this. And then the dark one on this and of course I'll do the white for light and the red for dark all right so let's open it up and I'm gonna show you what it looks like then we're going to print it out and then we're going to press it so this one is the inkjet dark premium and I will say that it says it's stretchable it says it's durable last the duration of the shirt so I've never used it, FYI. So we're gonna do it today, press it, see how it works out, and then I'll come back and I'll give you guys an updated video on how long it's been lasting, the durability and wash test. So I have them out. Oh, and it automatically feels smooth to the touch. So for the light one, so you know the difference, just in case if you buy both of them, the light one, it's white on one side and the back is pink. So of course the white side will be the side that you print your image on. And for the dark, it's a matte finish, sort of like, you know, it's not as smooth. So the light is smooth and this one is the premium and it's blue on the back. So you'll print your image on this one. I'm excited to get started because I want to see how well this works. This is another option in order for you to do your shirts. So again, this is your Walla Inkjet Smooth, smooth to the touch. This is for your light garments. And this one is the Walla Inkjet Dark Premium for your dark. You can get full color transfers right at home using your Walla Inkjet blanks. And of course, you can get them from Heat Transfer Warehouse. The link will be down below in the description box. As always, I believe they come in packs of like 50, packs of 100, but it's gonna be on the website so you can check it out and see. Now let's hop on into Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna show you my design because I gotta get out of here. Today is my mother's birthday and I'm spending my whole day with the old gal. So let's get this project started. Okay, so I'm in Cricut Design Space and I'm going to start a new project. I'm gonna now upload an image. Let's start with Cadence. I'm gonna go on over and do his colors and I have to actually spell out his name. I was hoping that they had everything in one. I'm still learning the Cricut Design Space and I haven't figured out how to import more than one file at the same time. So I have to import every letter separately one by one. Okay, so I have all of his letters now in Canvas. I am going to have to select everything. And now I have to make this smaller because it's way too big. So I'm going to bring it down. Now I'm just going to finish bringing it in by hand. They can be about three inches wide. Let's spread them out. Let's get his name in correct spelling order. Ooh, it's too much yellow. I don't like the fact that he got two yellows right there. I wish I could change the color. Okay, so we're just going to space it out. And what I'm going to do, I know in Silhouette Studios, I can just literally make everything spaced out correctly. Okay, there we go. So we're going to align. Okay, so I'm going to click align after I select all. 
and now I'm going to center vertically and that's perfect. So now I'm going to attach it. I'm going to attach it because I want to keep it spaced out. So now I definitely have to bring it in. So you see it's way too long. Um, so I definitely need to bring it in for nine and a half. Let's see. Okay, so the height is not good enough for me. I'm going to go make it 10 inches. 10 inches should be good. I'm going to unlock it in order just to bring up the height. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This is going to be print then cut. And I'm going to now send this to print. I'm going to click make it. Okay, so I did have to detach it because for the canvas size to cut and print on the eight and a half by 11, of course it can't be this long. So I had to detach it. So now I'm going to click make it. I do want to point out that when you're printing on the Walla inkjet dark, you cut right side up, meaning you do not mirror. But when you do it on the light, you do have to mirror your image. So first this is going to go on the dark and then I'm going to do it again for the light. And then I will select the mirror option to flip it horizontally. Okay, so I'm just using my regular Canon inkjet printer until I get me another one. I do want to get the HP one, but again, this is the dark one. You see the blue lines. I'm going to put my paper in like this because that's how my paper does. It flips. So I'm going to put it in with the backing up and then we'll flip. I'm going to click register and the website will give you all the different instructions on what settings to use for your printers and everything. So depending on, so depending upon what type of printer you have, whether you have a, um, an HP, whether you have a Canon an Epson, it will tell you what to do on the website for the instructions. So I have a Canon, it's just standard regular printing. Okay. So now I'm going to click continue. I'm going to get sent to printer Canon. Now let's see how it prints out. I literally just changed all my ink cartridges. So you definitely have to have color ink. This is regular inkjet and that came out nice. It says it's fast drying. So as you see it printed on the right side. So I'm going to now just let this dry for a few. I'm going to print out the other one and then I'm going to cut it out. So now I'm going to do it again. Now that I know I'm going to do it again and I'm going to flip it horizontally. I'm going to mirror it because this one is going to go on the light. So now this is the light one. As you see the pink lines, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in. So I'm trying to find my tray. Boom. Okay. So now let's click continue. Let's send to printer and print. Okay, this one, this one is in reverse. Let's go ahead and print the rest of them out and cut this one. Okay, it says fast drying, so let's see how fast. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my standard cutting mat. This is a light grip mat. And we're going to cut this out. Only thing that I hate is that I have to go and place it back in order on my son's shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, that was so fast. Let's see if that cut. And I think it did, but let's see if it cut all the way through. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that was like testing it out. So that cut perfectly, weeded perfectly. And there you have it. That's going to be the one for the dark. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to do the rest of them so we can rock and roll. Okay, going to do this one for the light. That was so fast. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ooh, that one was cutting through a little bit. So I might have to change my settings. Yeah, that one was cutting through. And that's the, well, they might be different papers because this one is smooth. So I'm just trying to pull it in a way where it stays on the paper so I can transfer it. 
All right, let's weed it out. Okay. And there we go. I'm gonna lay that to the side. Now, it's, I wanna keep it on the back end because that's how I'll tell which one is which. Okay, so I'm keeping that on the backing for right now. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to pull in another design. So I'm just going to save this project. I'm going to name it Superhero Name. And you can get these letters off of Creative Fabrica. I got them right off of Creative Fabrica. The link will be down below. I talk about the site all the time. Superhero Name, because that way I can change out any letters and make anyone's name. Okay, so now I am going to go to projects and I'm going to pull in a new project. Here's another image I got from Creative Fabrica. It's a PNG file. So I'm just going to speed through all of this because it's the exact same steps. The only difference is this image was a lot bigger. So I had to use the slice feature to separate it into two sections because it would not fit into one sheet for the print then cut method. Everything else is the same. So I'm just going to speed through this and get to the good part. So I'm going to weed this one up. It weeds so easy. So I like that. So I'm just gonna cut this. Cut that out the way. Just gonna, gonna weave this one up as well. This one I have on default setting, so you know, of course, it went through the paper a little bit. So the next one I did, I put it to light or to less. And this is again with the Cricut, so I did this one. I did this one on default, you know, and it went through because I had it on the vinyl setting. But the other one I put on less, and it didn't go through the paper. Just a little small piece right there. So that's because I just used the vinyl setting, but I'm pretty sure you can try to use maybe one of the um, paper adhesive backings. So this is that one. This one is the light one. And this one is the dark one. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the shirt. This one you do have to use a transfer paper because it is mirrored. This one I cut in reverse, so you do have to use the transfer paper to adhere it. These I could just place directly onto the actual shirt, which I'm gonna do now. Okay, I don't went out. I started this video saying I had to go out because it was my mother's birthday. My cameo was acting crazy, had to do everything on the Cricut. Switch color shirts. I done went out to the mall, went shopping, took my mother shopping, we went out to dinner, and now I'm back trying to finish this video. So I decided to go with the white shirt for my son and I'm going to do the green shirt just because, and I don't even think this is considered a dark, but I'm still going to put it on here, the dark one on this one, but I'm going to do the white one. I want to let you know that when you do the light, I want to let you know when you use the inkjet light, because it's cut in reverse, it has to be transferred. But the only thing is when I did it with the um, when I did it with the Cricut, you have to peel it from the backing. The only thing is it's not the the only thing is mine's is all distorted. The Cricut does not keep it together because it was too long. So I had to detach it. So now I can't put it on this or I can, but I would have to literally do one at a time. So it doesn't make sense for me to do it that way. I really messed it up this way. So I'm hoping that I can peel it away from the backing and keep it together because you're supposed to transfer it with the mask. But I might have to transfer it with the mask and then cut each piece separately. So I'm probably gonna do that. That might make the most sense. So just know when you do your design, that you technically do have to transfer it when you're using the light, not the dark. So I'm gonna see if I can do it that way. So I'm gonna transfer it, and then I will cut the letters out separately. Cause that's technically the only 
way I can think of to do it. When you don't have your image attached, Cricut will just literally put it anyway and it, to make it fit on the canvas. Okay, so here is the design. I'm doing the bottom row first and I'm going to pull it away and hopefully it is attached. And so far, I'm tired. I just went to a hibachi restaurant with my mother. That food be so good. It's not sticking. Come on. Okay, there we go. So it's peeling up. I'm trying to, because I don't think my camera is on a low angle. But y'all seen me do transfers before. I'm just trying to rock and roll because it's late. I meant to been have this video up for you, but I had to take care of my old lady today. It was her day. So sorry, the video is coming out just a little bit later. Okay, it's coming up pretty easy. See that? So now I'll just go in and separate each letter and put it on the shirt. So when you're doing the light, the paper that I'm using, it says 350 degrees for 20 seconds. So that's what I have my heat press set to, and I'm using my new Walla press since I'm using the Walla inkjet transfers. Now, I know a lot of people always call these the paper transfers, but they're not paper transfers. These are regular inkjet transfers but it just has a paper backing this is not a paper transfer so please don't get it confused it's not paper that's going on the shirt i believe it's called polymer so as you can see all the letters his name is arranged in different orders so i'm going to just separate each one and then i'll place them on the shirt in the correct order and try to space them out equally just a few extra steps that you have to do when you're doing the light transfer. But we'll see if it's all worth it. It might seem like a lot of steps, but it was only because of how the image size. So depending upon your image size, you know, you might just have one piece. All right, so I'm gonna move this on over to the heat press. When you don't use this heat press, I keep forgetting. When you don't use the heat press, it goes off. So now it has to heat back up just a little bit. It has like a safety feature where it cools off if you're not using it. So it started to go back off. Okay, so I'm just gonna pre-press this for about five seconds. Take all the moisture out, that's very important. Okay, all my moisture is out and while this is heating back up to 350, I am now going to place his name on the shirt and try to get it spaced out nice and evenly. So when you have something like this, this comes in perfect. I know I'm gonna line this up perfectly with my T-square ruler that I got from Heat Press Nation because no matter how many times I have showed this. Someone always still asks me, where do I get it from? Heat Press Nation. Heat Press Nation is where I got this from. So this is my middle. I'm gonna separate my Y and my D. And now I can try to make sure all my letters are even going across as well. All right, let's just try to get them all in the same level. I'm just dying to know how this feels. I just want to know how it feels. That's going to be fine. Just like I said, it's not going to be perfect tonight because I had to separate each one. You're just going to make it work. He's going to be happy that his name is on there. I'm going to cover it with a butcher paper. So we're gonna press this for 25 seconds. It says anywhere from 25 to 30 seconds. So I'm gonna do 25 seconds and let's go. Wait, make sure the drawer is all the way in. You want medium, even pressure. 
And this is a hot peel. Okay, last time. When I did the unboxing of this, I made a mistake and I had the auto, but mine is the manual. Mine is not the auto. Oh, wait a second. Did I put this on the wrong side? Oh my Lord, I put this on the wrong side, guys. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Wow, wow. Was that on the wrong side? That couldn't have been. I ain't that crazy. I put it face down. Why did that not stick? I just messed up a shirt. Y'all know I'm mad, right? What in the world did I do? What did I, was I not supposed to use butcher paper? Okay, I'm, I'm really mad. Because I don't like wasting stuff. Why did that not stick? Is it supposed to be? I'm really confused. Now I'm scared to do the rest. Okay, I've just been jacking stuff up lately. Let me just press it again. Did I use the wrong transfer paper? I am really confused. I'm going to press it again. I'm going to give more pressure. I don't know what went wrong. Let's press it again. Maybe it wasn't enough pressure. That was weird. Manual heat presses. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. All right, this is not working. This did not work. That did not work at all. At all. That didn't come off. Oh well, I tried. Let's try the dark. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to do the dark one. I'm really mad about the other shirt. I think I put it down on the wrong side. I think that's what happened. So I apologize. It's my first time using that. You know, this is when some people would do it correctly and, <laughs> and not show the mistakes. I'm just gonna take the moisture out of this one. Okay, so this one, it's 375 degrees. This is the one that is the dark premium inkjet. So I'm gonna separate from the backing, separating it from the paper. You wanna peel it up, take your time. Okay, you gotta really catch it to, to peel it up. Okay, that's the first one. You have to catch it like at the right spot. So separate it from that backing. Okay. This order, I feel like it's already sticking because the heat press is so hot. So I gotta move quick. Cause this is already kind of sticking down. Look at it. You gotta be very careful. All right, I gotta move it from underneath this heat press. This heat press is really hot. So I don't want it to curl up cause that's what it's doing. Okay, I'm back. I tried to get it lined up as best as I could. This was really hot so it was starting to stick. So you definitely have to be ready to rock and roll with it. I'm just gonna leave it just like that. It ain't gotta be perfect. My son is going to be happy regardless that he got his name on his shirt. I'm just going to use this other piece of butcher paper. And then I'm going to just add this on it. I'm going to let this press for at 375 for 25 seconds. Medium pressure. Okay, lift this up. 
Ooh, I pray this came out this time. This is a hot or a cold peel. Hot or a cold peel. Which one should I do? Well, it's not even really a peel because it's already on there. Okay, let's see. That's in the shirt. Yeah, that's in. That looks good. And this is the one on dark. This is really hot. That's the one on dark. Now this is stretchable, durable. So I'm gonna let this cool down. I'm gonna press the other shirt so you can see, but that feels so soft. It's soft to the touch. This definitely does feel way better than vinyl. Like I'm not even kidding you. you it's not that plasticky, but it is definitely stretchable it says. So I would probably give this another little five seconds as always, but that really, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. It's a lot, you know, it's extra step and it's, you know, more work, but you know, if you don't have supplementation and if you don't have um, a laser toner, this is definitely an option if you have an inkjet printer. Let's keep going so I can show you the other one. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I would pick a design that had all separate letters. Like, that's crazy, right? So that's that one. I'm just going to lay that one right here. I'm going to throw this shirt to the side because I didn't use these two shirts. I'm just going to pre-press this really quick. I've never done it this way before. I'm pre-pressing it over here because it's so hot and because I have to literally take my time. I wish I could. Um, it's kind of hard to get up. So I am going to see if I can um, use something to transfer it with to make it easier and to keep it in. So I'm going to use my bling transfer because I know this one, you know, this goes on the heat press for sure. So I'm just going to use this one to see because I don't know what happened with the other one. I've definitely put that one on my heat press before, but I think I put it on the wrong way. So I'm going to do this, put this down, because I want to keep all these letters in place. I definitely want to. Okay? But this one, the um, the one for dark, you definitely can just pick it up with your hand. But because each one of my letters are separate, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay? So I'm just doing it this way to avoid doing all that. And look at that, it's coming right up. Work smarter, not harder. Smarter, not harder, people. Come on in, don't you crinkle on me. Boom, I just gotta weed out my O. What happened to my O? Gotta weed out that O. There we go. All right, so now I need to do the same thing to the girl. And now I'm gonna do my girl. My girl, my girl, rub. All right, and up. So simple. So that way I can get the girl lined up under there nice and good. Let's go to the heat press again. I pray this works. Move this over. That should be good. I'm just going to fold this in half so I can get the center. That's my center right there. And I'm going to just bring this down to about right there. Now this is really sticky, really sticky. I'm just gonna slide that up. If this works, this is gonna really look nice on the red. If this works. Now this one is really sticky because of course this one is for, you know, the, um, this one is for rhinestones. So that's why this one is like really sticky. 
and we're going to press it and bring you guys around. I'm gonna put this over it. 25 seconds, 25 seconds. All the way down. Okay. Ooh. Alrighty. Hot or cold peel. I'm gonna let it cool all the way down. Okay, so I'm letting that cool all the way down. You can put it on a cold surface and let it cool all the way down. I've never seen no one use a transfer sheet, but mine had too many letters. So that's the only reason why I did it like that. So let's see if I can get it up because if I can't, then I'll know. I think it's, oh wait, wait. This is just really, really sticky. This is just really sticky. Okay, okay. So I won't use this one anymore because this one is really sticky. But I'm pulling this. And as you can see, guys, this is really hard. It's stuck on there. Oh, thank God. Thank God. So, of course, I used the wrong one. I didn't want to use the other one again and risk it not coming off. Oh, wow. Okay. I know y'all going to talk about me in these comments. <laughs> like, what is this girl doing? Next time, I will do a design that is one piece. one piece this is not the right transfer sheet for it this is some sticky transfer oh boy look at that okay let's see how the shirt came out after all that pulling look at that Wow, look at that. So, of course, it pulled a little bit, just a little bit of the coloring off. This transfer paper is really, so you can see like where it pulled a little bit of the blue, like a little bit of the coloring off. But for the most part, y'all know that's down in that shirt because all that pulling I just did. So that is on there really good. And it still feels soft. Come on now. But of course, Caden's name came out really nice with the superhero letters. And I really like the way it feels. It's a slight difference only because this was pulled up a little bit. But this is how it looks on the dark. On the dark. So guys, I went through a lot making these shirts for y'all. <laughs> so give your girl a thumbs up. I wanted to definitely show you how it looked using the inkjet transfers. The light one didn't come out. And I was definitely going to do this one again on light, on a light color shirt. But I'm like, I'm not even about to go through that all over again. So I will try it at a later date. I already jacked up one shirt. So I will definitely have to do something else and put... Um, I'll do it again, actually, and put his name on top of it again at a later date to fix it because we just can't leave it blank. But for now, that is it. I am calling it a night. This is the Wallet Inkjet Dark Premium, and this one was attempted to be the Wallet Inkjet Soft. So you can definitely check the link out down below. And if you like it, you can purchase it from Heat Transfer Warehouse. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, peace, love, and joy. Have a good night.